Hey guys, and welcome back if you are returning and welcome if you're new. Hello, we are going to get into a second in Spruce haul. And if you are new here, this is not a new to me vendor. I have purchased from Erica from about, I think this is the second or third haul that I might have uh, purchased from because when I finally found out about her, last November, December timeframe, her website was fully sold out. So I would say probably within the new year is when I finally discovered her wax. So I'm glad that this time around, because her RTSs are like hunger games, I'm glad this time around she tried to pre-order and I went all in, which I probably should have read the rules. I bought some doubles, uh, but <laughs> Erica was so sweet. I apologize to her and I'm just so happy to have all this wax. I've already dove into it, even though it still needs to cure. I already dove in and tried some of it as well. So I'll share with you my thoughts on that as we go through it. So let's get into it. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so this is the box. There is a pretty, really beautifully packaged, I have to say. Gorgeous design and stickers. My kids ripped into it. I have a picture of what it looked like before they tore into it. But really beautifully wrapped, and there's a ton of wax in here. So we'll start off first um, with her business card. So they're second spruce and owned by Erica and Slade. And then thank you so much for business. So her contact information, happy melting. So there's her website as well as her email and then social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And then what's so cute, so adorable. I'm so I love the graphics. Uh, this is, you know, curing for about a month time. Uh, and then just details about her wax, which, again, I already dove into. And then the uh, overall receipt. All right. So I got a few snap bars as well as her lows or souffles. Um, what she calls it. It was beautifully packaged. I rolled things back up. So let's get started with what is closest to me and we'll finish the samples at the end. I'll get started with her mini lows first. And so what I did was I got the lows and things that I figured that I would like or if I've tried similar scents before. So We'll start off first with Pumpkin Beach Party. Super cute labels. And the set notes on this are Creamy Pumpkin, Pumpkin Buttercream, and Beach Party. Beach Nights type. And so I have had her Beach Nights. I've had her Strawberry Beach Nights. Um, and I was just like, sign me up. So this is just pumpkin with beach nights. So if you like beach nights, Erica has an amazing beach nights. I mean, most vendors do. Uh, Beth has a really good beach night. I love her beach night cookies, but Erica has a really good one as well. So this one's real, look at that pretty design. Her wax is really soft, so I'm scared to lean forward and it fall out. So really pretty design. You definitely get the beach nights. You get that creamy pumpkin. You get a vanilla buttercream or pumpkin buttercream. Oh, so good. I think I also got this in a snack bar. I got both because if you know me by now, I hate chopping, but I just I figured I would like this one. So I wanted to have, and she said, like, keep it to one, but I got one in snack bar and one in a souffle. So I broke the rule, but that is pumpkin beach party. So I got that in the souffle and I know I got a snap bar of it somewhere. We'll get to it. Then I am obsessed with her pump, um, her blackberry cashmere cookies. If you like cashmere cream or any sort of cashmere, creamy, creamy cashmere, and you've ever tried blackberry, her blackberry is amazing, just like her raspberry is. And so I knew that I liked her cashmere cream. So I got pumpkin cashmere cookies. 
And this is creamy pumpkin cashmere cream and sugar cookies. And her blackberry cashmere cookies is the same thing, just with blackberry as opposed to pumpkin. Oh my God, that's so good. Look at how pretty that wax is. Really light on the glitter. It's just enough. There's the packaging. So like I said, it's like her blackberry cashmere cookies just with pumpkin. Oh, so good. Again, 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 again. You get the creamy pumpkin. You get that cashmere cream. Oh my God, that's so good. And sugar cookies. I've already tapped into the snack bar of it and it's phenomenal. It went for two days. So, I mean, yes, if you want to let her wax cure, follow her instructions, but I dove in and it, it performed beautifully for me in my open concept with just two cubes. So one cube in one warmer and another cube, in another warmer. Okay. Then I'm obsessed with her milk and cookies. Her milk and cookies blend is beautiful. This is eggnog milk and cookies, and this is creamy eggnog layered with milk and cookies. Dated nine four. And I love how she puts the pour dates on there as well. So technically, yes, yeah, they're ready. One at one. Yeah, so this one was just poured on 927. So yeah, it's it's good. I already warmed it though. Ooh, so good. So you get this really creamy, almost kind of, I don't know if it's really eggnog. Maybe it's the rum note. I know she sent a sample of eggnog rum or rum eggnog, but I get kind of like a boozy note or like a really strong, I know this one's layered. Look at how pretty fall apart um what does it smell like oh that's so nice i don't know what it reminds me of i wouldn't say it smells me it smells like the spice eggnog from sensi that is really good like really really sweet maybe i don't know it's really sweet and it smells really good so that is eggnog mountain cookies. And I was on the fence because some eggnog blends can lean a different light. I'm going to hurry up because I'm losing my light. All right. And the last souffle slash loaf I got, mini loaf I got was a dat cake. And that is cake pops, buttercream, and birthday cake. And I already know that I love her birthday cake blends. So I was like, I have to try this. And so you get almost kind of like a pound cake, but it's really the birth, like a white cake, birthday cake. Oh, that's so good. It really does smell like a birthday cake or like a cake pop when you bite into it. You get that creamy buttercream. Oh, so good. Really, really pretty. Nice pink glitter wax. Oh, that's so good. Really, really nice blend. So I got those in souffles. Okay, then I got um, a double, and I know I did, of her shapes. This is Gingerbread Village, and this is sense of, sense, notes of gingerbread cookies, holiday spices, buttercream, and a dash of butter bakery goodness. And so I got this in a snap bar, and then I wanted to try her shapes, but I'm going to pop this little cutie out. Look at how adorable that is. Isn't that so cute? I think there's also something else in here. But her wax is super soft. I think there's a Christmas tree. As it melts in my hand. Look at how cute that is. Really, really cute. So I've been on the search, as most of you know who've been watching me for a while as I get wax everywhere. I've been trying to find a really good gingerbread scent. Dessa is so far is a really good gingerbread scent because Scentsy doesn't do a good gingerbread. So, so far, I have to say that Dessa's been the best, but I'm looking forward to trying Erica's. All right, now it's on my hand. <laughs> Before I lose my light, let's get into snack bars. And these are no particular order because like I said, I got some doubles. Um, so this is what we're just talking about, Gingerbread Village snap bar and that so really really pretty with the glitter and the icing look i'm gonna smell it again 
And this is actually more concentrated. So the bag of blocks, for some reason, doesn't smell as strong. But it could just be my nose. But I got both. I got a gingerbread village and a snap bar and the blocks. So there's my double in that. Then I got jammed up and jellied. Super cute with the heart, the Windsor tart. I got this because it reminded me of baking cookies with my grandma because we always used to make those cookies. And this is raspberry jam, sugared strawberry cookies, and fresh baked bread. And I already smelled this once and I know that I'm not a fan. And I don't know if it's because of the sugared strawberry and the strawberry reminds me of Scentsy's, like a perfumey sugar. I don't know. It just comes off weird to me. It's not bad. It's just not my jam. <laughs> Get it? And the fresh baked bread is really good in here. It kind of reminds me, reminds me of if anybody's ever tried, and I actually gifted that to Belle from Bright House Scents. If you ever have tried um, jam, oh God, now I'm going to draw a blank. Fresh bread and jam or something like that from Dessa. I didn't like it because I got too much jam and not enough bread. And so I, I gifted that. But if you like fresh baked bread with jam, strawberry jam, I think you'd like that one. All right. And then I got Ozzy Posborne. <laughs> That's so cute. And I'm glad I picked this one up because everyone's going crazy over it. Strawberry pound cake, toasted coconut and mallow fluff. Really, really cute pink wax. Look at how cute that is. And there's a little dog or something at the bottom. I don't want to take it out because her wax is so soft. And this is really, really good. You get that toasted coconut. You get the strawberry cow cake with the creaminess of the marshmallow fluff. It's a really good blend. If you like, if you like strawberry pound cake blends, I highly recommend this. You do get coconut, but you don't get a lot of coconut. So if you're scared of coconut, don't let that scare you. But that is a good blend. Glad I grabbed a snap bar. Wish I grabbed more. So um, the next one I got was Dark Nights. This is Palo Santo, Malo Fireside, Vanilla Bean Malo, and Blackberry. And I've had a souffle in this. I'm almost done with it or a little loaf. And it is so good. If you like her Palo Santo so good that oh my god guys it's so good if you like palo santo if you like malo fireside it kind of reminds me of coven from salt mountain melts the only difference is is you get the blackberry jam in this or the blackberry you get this blackberry sweetness to tie in with the smoky oh it's so good i don't know why i didn't pick up more maybe because i felt like i had another souffle or, and i'm almost done with it but it is so good so that's dark nights look at how cute that label is so again i have half of a mini loaf so i was like oh i think i'm good yeah no okay um here's the pumpkin beach party in the snap bar so again creamy pumpkin pumpkin buttercream beach party and beach nights type Really cute. Look at how beautiful that design is. I don't know. I think I got oh, so good. It's just beach nights and pump, creamy pumpkin. I think I only got, okay, so I got two snap bars and pumpkin beach party because I knew I'd love it along with the souffle. So I did not listen. <laughs> okay. All right. And then I got, I have, I think one more loaf and the other, the other, um, mini souffle part of it. I sent to bars and bricks with brandy, but I sent her some of second and spruces, um, milk and cookies because it's hard for her to get, um, vendor wax to Canada. So I sent her some, this is just so good. This is just rich sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough. Her sugar cookie dough is phenomenal. Sugar cookie dough, buttercream, sweet milk, and an extra pinch of sugar. Oh, it's so good. You got the creamy. You get the cookie. You get the dough. I mean, it's just, I'm now regretting not trying her fried dough. But yeah, I got two of the snap bars in milk and cookies because I was like, okay, I do have half of a souffle or a soup. I don't have one since I gave the other half away. Okay. 
And then here's the pumpkin cashmere cookies in a snap bar. Like I said, I got the loaf, the mini loaf, and then I got two snaps. So like I said, I already used two cubes in my warmers and it went for two days. Oh my God, so good. Creamy pumpkin cashmere cream sugar cookie. Oh my God, look at, look at how pretty that is. So definitely is performing. And when were these poured? Yeah, 927. It performed for me great. Two days. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. All right. All right. I think these are the odd ones out. All right. And then I wanted to try, you guys know me by now. I am not a fan of coffee, but I wanted to try. I had bought her uh, coffee blend and I just sent it to Brandy as well. Um, it crusade coffee or coffee crusade or something like that. Caffeine crusade. And it, it, what so sold me was the bean on top of her, her designs are amazing. Don't like coffee. It is super strong coffee. So I sent that out, but I wanted to try something that had mix, like just not coffee. And this is espresso whipped pumpkin, whipped cream and van vanilla cream. And this is pumpkin cream cold brew. And I am a sucker for Starbucks cold brew. It's pumpkin cold cream cold brew. And this, you get this creamy note, but you get the espresso. It also, it kind of comes off. If you've ever tried Rose, well, Rose Girls espresso. So that's what I'm getting in this. And it's not bad. It's just, I don't know if it's for me. Again, I don't know why I keep trying coffee scents, but I wanted to try it out. I got Luke Steiner from Rose Girls or something, and it's too skunky. So I'm going to eventually either toss it or give it to somebody if they want it. Yeah, this is this is good. You get that creamy vanilla, but you it almost kind of probably smells like what the Friends Bar should have smelled like. That Scentsy pulled, but these are the same similar notes without the coconut milk that this is what Friends should have smelled like. Just my opinion. But that is a really good espresso whipped cream blend. So, okay. The next one I got was Christmas mug. Again, super cute packaging. This is espresso, creamy eggnog, sugar cookies, and malo fluff. Look at how cute. I don't know why the glare is so bad. Again, I'm filming from my computer. And this one I like a little bit better. I don't know if maybe the eggnog tones it down and makes it a little sweeter. Yeah, I like this one a little bit better. Yeah, this is more my speed. I think it's the eggnog and the sugar cookies. So this makes it a little more creamier. I really like this one. This is a good blend. So Christmas mug. Totally good. Totally, totally. Okay. Is there anything left in there? <laughs> All right. And then the other one that I warmed and I had it went for a day and a half was Fall in Love. And I really am regretting not getting more. I got two snap bars. I just put one cube in yesterday and I had to change it this morning, but it went for a whole day and a half. This is pumpkin pecan waffle, birthday cake, glazed donuts, cinnamon, and sugar. And this was poured on 10-7. Really cute packaging. Look at the two little pumpkins apart. So this one reminds me of on cold and warm. This reminds me of Witches Be Crazy by Teddy Bees. So if you like Witches Be Crazy by Teddy Bees, run, don't walk, get fall in love. You get the pumpkin pecan waffles. You get the birthday cake. That donut is just tying it all together. It is a really good donut. This is really good. And I just come to like Witches Be Crazy. So when this was warming, I was like, what does this smell like? Oh, it smells like witches be crazy. So I got two of those fall in love bars <laughs> as they fall off my desk. All right. I'm trying to go fast because we're losing daylight. All right. And then look at how cute this is. This is the sample bag that she sent. Isn't that adorable? Like so nicely packaged. And I'm so happy to share with you what is in these, uh, especially one. All right, I'm going to start off with the first one, which is buttered rum eggnog poured on 1015. I don't know if you guys can see. And this is add a festive quick kick, click, kick to your favorite holiday blends. 
So yeah, you can use this as a mixer, or I think this would really be good on its own. This one smell. This one smells similar to Sensi's eggnog. The bricks that I sent, I had like three bricks. Again, I sent one to Mel. Yeah, this one smells similar to that. You get that butter. You get like a slight boozy note, sweet boozy note. It is really good. That is really good. Creamy butter, really good blend. Okay, another one here is honey pear cider donut and pumpkin pecan waffles. This is spiced honey pear, apple cider donut, and pumpkin pecan waffles. So I think if you like honey pear scents, oh, so good. You get that spiced honey, you get that apple cider donut. This is a good one. This is what I want a honey pear to smell like. Not Scentsy's Perfect Day, which to me comes off perfumey, but this one is truly a honey pear cider. That is good. All right. And last but not least, before the sun goes down, this is Jack is Obsessed. So this, I feel like, is a dupe for Jack's obsession. And it's apple spice, clove, and cinnamon. And if you guys know me by now, I'm obsessed with Jack's obsession. So I've already smelled this. And I say this is freaking spot hell on. This is literally Jack's Obsession dupe. And it comes close to the one that I got in Sassy Girl Aroma that I haven't hauled yet. But I'm doing this in order of what I have received. Sassy Girls um, with Jack's Obsession came in like beginning of October and I never filmed it. I probably should just combine that with what I just received in my office this week. Oh my God, I can smell it again. That's so good. So that is Jack is Obsessed. Super cute name. I'm liking that a lot. So those were my samples. Really nice size samples that Erica sends uh, along with her, her packaging all in all. I mean, just autumn, amazing. Great customer service. Just amazing. So again, before I lose my daylight and I get cut off um, and the video turns from light to dark, I just wanted to share with you my second and spruce pre-order. Um, and I took advantage of her holiday sampler pre-order that just happened on Sunday evening. I don't know if any are still available. I was surprised that they were still available later in the evening. But yes, I was greedy and I picked up two. So super excited to get those. Super excited to share with you all. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe.